I'm Christopher. I am most, I guess, known for my YouTube channel, The Photo Department. That's where I got started in 2017, kind of uh, with YouTube and being really tied into photography um, more than just as a hobby. And then uh, now in downtown Milwaukee, I just opened, um, soft opened my photo lab, The Photo Department Lab. So I've talked about this before, but I, I started photography when I was 14. I was in high school and I had to pick a, an elective course, but I was late to register for, um, for my sophomore year. So there's only a couple things left and photography was one of them. And the story goes, you know, that I processed my first roll of film and when I saw the film for the first time, I was like, wow, this is magic. And that's kind of where my journey kind of began. I didn't really want to look back after that. I just wanted to like kind of make photos of everything. So that's kind of what started it all. Um, got my first camera, the AE one, and that was the one that I used for, I don't know, 10 years maybe, like on and off. And um, it was a hobby, of course. Um, I went to college for that. I, um, I did a, uh, I was in a, a fine arts program um, for uh, photography and learned all about darkroom processing and, and printing and enlarging and, and um, got really, really into shooting and processing black and white film. So I've always been uh, processing that film. Uh, I eventually started processing color film at home and I didn't know how to do it. So I just used C41 chemistry and treated it like it was black and white chemistry and it worked. Um, and then I started getting you know a lot more experience with that. I was processing my friend's film as well. And uh, yeah, it's just been a constant. I just always process my own film. I have always been interested in the chemistry and the science of how it works and, and bettering my processes. And then when I lost my job last November, I really had no idea what to do. And my girlfriend was like, start a film lab. And I was like, that's a great idea. And here we are, it started in my house and now I'm in this really beautiful space. And it's very scary and a lot of work, but I'm really happy that I can be doing this and I wouldn't want to do anything else. As far as why in Milwaukee, I'm here because my girlfriend came here to go to nursing school and uh, she's doing some work experience as a nurse here. And our plan was to go right back to California, but you know, that's <laughs> always everyone's plan, go right back to California. But you know, logistically that's difficult. So we decided to kind of uh, enjoy our time here. And as I met more people here and got more into the film community here, I kind of realized that there was a large gap in this niche for, you know, needing a creative space um, for not just processing film, but just gathering creatives, um, having a place where creatives can come and share ideas, uh, meet up and just hang out, um, you know, have their work shown. Um, there just wasn't a lot of that in downtown Milwaukee. There's a couple of places on kind of the outskirts where you can get film processed, but beyond that, um, I think there's a real need for kind of a hub, especially for people who like to shoot film. And yeah, I just thought that I was the guy to do it. So here I am. Um, the Midwest has a really robust and large community of people who not just shoot film, but are photographers in general, but there is a ton of people who shoot film here. And um, it doesn't seem that way at first because it's kind of scattered. Um, we're really lucky in California, in the Bay Area, that there's a lot of hubs and a lot of like centralized places you can be as a film photographer to meet other people and to um, share ideas and, and have um, have kind of an outlet for that that kind of thing. But here it's a little more scattered, a little more fractured. So um, as soon as I started doing this, it's like all these people came out of the woodwork that I had no idea were film photographers. And I've just been really lucky to meet so many cool people who are doing such great work out here. And I wanted to be more a part of that and I wanted to kind of serve it. And I wanted to be providing a service and providing a place for that to thrive. And so that's what the photo department lab is. So the lab is really what we want to do. We're, we're doing full service, you know, C41, 35 millimeter, black and white, uh, medium format up to four by five. I can, I can do everything up to four by five right now. Um, and the idea is I'm not trying to make 
you know, a fortune off of processing film. I'm trying to be competitive enough where I can, you know, make sure this business can support itself. But also I want to be accessible for beginning photographers, photographers who are on a budget, um, photographers who, you know, shoot film once or twice a year. I want everyone who shoots film and wants to get their work processed and don't have the means to do it themselves to be able to come here and um, be able to afford to have their work processed. And um, I think as film gets more expensive and, you know, Fujifilm stops making film and Kodak's prices just <laughs> skyrocket, uh, it's really important to have um, kind of structures in place to support the community um, at a community level because there's always going to be big, huge labs or really well-established labs that do really great work um, but are going to, you know, charge a premium for it. Um, but I wanted to kind of come in from the community angle, basically saying like, hey, uh, this is for the community. This isn't for um, padding my wallet. So uh, while I do need to charge, you know, something, uh, I'm hoping that I'm competitive enough that, you know, anyone at any level can come here and get their film processed and have quality film processing and quality scans. Um, and that's why instead of, you know, taking out a loan and investing, you know, $30,000 in like a Naritsu scanner or like a bunch of money into a bunch of film processors and like, you know, a huge space, uh, I'm keeping it small and, and I'm starting from like the small place. Uh, everything's done by hand. Everything's done by me. Um, that way there's accountability. I see and touch and look at every single roll of film that comes through here. It's all processed and scanned by me. So all of your images, I, I see them. And um, the quality control that I can implement there is really large. And so there's just a lot of benefits to keeping it small. Um, but chief of which being that I can serve the community more effectively and be more accessible that way. You know, this is the space that we're in. This is in downtown Milwaukee on Water Street, right across from the beautiful Chase parking garage. Uh, the vision for the space, it's not much now. It's got some boxes in it. There's not a lot of storage available. Uh, I've got kind of everything set up working right now. But, um, you know, here in this side of the lab, I want to have kind of like a lounge area so like people can come, hang out, gather. If you want to have an event based around film, uh, I wanted to have a space that people could come to that's like a safe indoor space where you can uh, have as a meeting place to start your film walk or have a little film event or have workshops. Uh, I don't want to do like a ton of retail, but I will be selling film at some point. Uh, I also want to do consignment uh, used camera sales. And then, you know, it doesn't cost them anything up front. They can come put it here in my case. And then when they sell it, I get a little tiny little nibble sliced on the back end and then they get to keep, you know, whatever money they make. And uh, again, to foster more of a community thing. And then now you have a safe place to sell your camera. You can meet here and it's safe and it's off the street. And you know, in the weather, if it's like rainy or snowy and you don't wanna be, you know, you wanna go take pictures, but you don't wanna meet outside because it's freezing, here's the space you can meet in. Uh, eventually I wanna have a community dark room. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna do that, but that's in the plans as well. Oh, I'm, I'm planning on doing like once a month uh, coffee and film workshops on a Sunday where people can come in and bring in a roll of film and we'll all process our film and caffeine all together while drinking coffee, um, which will be, I think, really fun and educational, uh, something I've always wanted to do. Um, yeah. Oh, our grand opening. We're having a grand opening on May 7th. So we're gonna have Discourse Coffee, which is a Milwaukee um, coffee shop. They're gonna be here serving espresso drinks and a special drink for that day. Uh, and it's going to be a little bit of a party that'll be kind of like the grand opening for the lab. And so I'm hoping that everyone who can can come down and hang out, take a look at the lab, meet some people, meet me, um, drink some coffee. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, by then I will have a couch and chairs and some plants and some more seating for people. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm actually really nervous and excited at the same time, both things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, welcome, welcome. So this, <laughs> this is my uh, Technivore Mocha Master uh, that my girlfriend bought me for my birthday this year. Uh, this is going to be a centerpiece in the, the lab. 
So um, even if you're not getting film picked up or dropped off or whatever, if you want to come by uh, for a cup of very good coffee, I will always have coffee here for free. Um, so you can come in and grab a cup and have a chat. Uh, I'll always be making good coffee because um, some of you might know I'm a big coffee guy. I was in coffee for 10 years and uh, I talk about coffee on my channel a lot. So it only makes sense to have excellent high quality coffee in the coffee lab, or the photo lab, not the coffee lab, the photo lab. <laughs> uh, yeah, so come say hi to the Mocha Master. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of it. That's kind of it. I just, um, I'm just really excited to be a part of the community here in Milwaukee and greater Wisconsin, I, I suppose. And I'm really excited to see how the lab takes shape and how the community kind of shapes how the lab turns out. Because that's ultimately going to be what what determines how this lab is going to be is, is the community. So, yeah.